I'm Dr. Helen Fox. I'm the Conservation Science Director for the Coral Reef Alliance, and I'm here to answer some of your frequently asked questions about coral reefs. What is a coral reef? So coral reefs are underwater structures that are built by colonial animals called corals. So an individual coral polyp has a little symbiotic algae called zooxanthellae that live inside it and it uh, lays down calcium carbonate like limestone skeleton and hundreds and thousands of these colonies, different species of colonies live over time, the calcium carbonate that gets secreted builds up and up and up and it creates this big three-dimensional structure that is a reef. Why are coral reefs important for the planet? From a biodiversity perspective, they're amazing. They cover less than 1% of the ocean's surface and yet a quarter of all marine species spend some time uh, on a coral reef. Uh, they're also hugely important to human communities for uh, food security and also are economically important for tourism or other reasons uh, and they're also really important for shoreline protection. Uh, what are the biggest threats to coral reefs? So the big three for coral reefs and indeed most marine ecosystems are uh, water pollution, overfishing or destructive fishing, and global climate change. All right, so what is coral bleaching and why is it dangerous to reefs? So bleaching is called that because what you see, the, the reefs turn white, commonly from uh, marine heat waves or global warming. And what happens is that hot water stresses out the coral animal, the little zooxanthellae, the photosynthetic algae that live inside are expelled. And then the animal itself is clear. And so what you see is through that clear animal, the white calcium carbonate skeleton of the coral. And so that's what you're seeing when a reef is bleached. And that animal is not yet dead, but because it's lost its main source of food and energy, if the bleaching lasts too long, uh, then it will eventually die. And then those uh, coral skeletons will get covered with algae and other things. Uh, where are the healthiest reefs in the world? Uh, there are unfortunately lots of degraded reefs, but there are still many reefs that are uh, have beautiful coral and healthy fish populations. Uh, some of those are in Indonesia and other parts of the Coral Triangle. Uh, Fiji has some lovely reefs still, still parts of uh, Western Australia and the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, moving further to the Caribbean, uh, the Gardens of the Queen in Cuba, parts of the Bay Islands of Honduras, parts of the Belize Barrier Reef. So there are still pockets of healthy reefs and we at the Coral Reef Alliance are doing all we can to keep them healthy. What can a person do in their everyday life to save coral reefs? Biggest thing you can do is actually try to uh, help advocate for a rapid transition away from fossil fuels. We need to rapidly decarbonize the economy to slow down global warming. Uh, and then if you live locally, you can advocate for better fishing policies or better pollution and wastewater treatment. How do I stay hopeful about the future? Uh, I will confess some days it's hard, uh, but I uh, you know, have been able to go diving on some of those corals that are still healthy, and that is a wonderful experience. Uh, and also working at the Coral Reef Alliance, uh, the research that we've done has shown that if we are able to keep corals healthy by reducing local stresses and also uh, address the climate change and global warming, that corals are able to adapt and so trying to take that long-term view uh, and working towards the solutions are one of the ways that I try to stay hopeful.